Are you attracted to me? Oh, that's a hard question. Like mentally, or like physically? Whatever the whatever attraction means for you. Uh, that's hard. I would say at one point, probably yeah. At one point. <laughs> I mean, you still. You haven't changed, like, you changed in my mind. Mm -hmm. That sounds terrible, huh? Okay. No, like, you're you're a good-looking guy. Okay. You look good. You know? So, I mean, you're handsome. But, it's, like, the we're so deep in our friendship that it gets, it gets sort of weird when I think of you that way. Uh-huh. Now. But, yeah, you're, I mean. What do you mean, now? I <laughs> like, I mean, like, now. Mean? Like, because now, like, we're on a different level. Was there a then? There was a then. What was then? Then was, like, you know, like, then. What was then? Then was, like, oh, this guy looks good. Mm hmm But now it's, like, okay, that's Corey. <laughs> hmm. And, and, like, a, like, not in a negative way, like not in a bad way. It's just like I got more comfortable with our friendship, uh -huh. so it's harder for me. It's it's like you have a brother. You might say your brother's handsome, but you're not gonna be like, "Hey, brother." How Definitely you? not. Yeah. yeah, it's the same thing. Like I can't be like, "Hey, Corey," because now I'm like, "Oh, you're Corey." Okay, I think I can trust you. Is that? It's like a big deal for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, if you were like too attracted to me, like, I can't trust you as like an unbiased person. The Does that make sense? Like, I need like I need like good friends. I don't want like biased friends. Yeah. Well, I mean, you might can attest to this. And I can ask you the same question, but mm -hmm. I don't think you can correct me if I'm wrong. I shouldn't speak for you, but mm -hmm. I don't think we're each other's type anyway. I don't think so. No. So I mean, that's also a benefit. Like. I can like you're a good looking guy, but you're not my type. Mm -hmm. And you can be like, damn, Valerie's fine, which I know you think all the time, but you're like, oh, she's not my type. Mm -hmm. So, and then that idea even changed more once we became better friends. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, well, that's Val. Yeah. Not like, damn, that's Val. Yeah. I guess. I don't. It's hard for me. I don't know. Well, what is hard? Because, like, um,. This has been like, I think about this quite a bit, like, yeah. like if, if only, if you were my type, let's say, then like, this would be like a totally different this relationship. This would be a totally different relationship. Or like if we were each other's type, I guess, if that, yeah. if that makes sense. And it, that would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? It would be nice because mm. we know each other so well and it's so easy, but mm. I also believe mm -hmm. if we were each other's type, this relationship would be completely different. Really? Yeah. I don't like that. That doesn't make me feel good. Well, I, this is why this is why I say that, and I say it with complete honesty, mm -hmm. because sometimes when you go into a relationship not looking for anything out of it, right? You're not mm -hmm. being like, I want to date this person, or mm -hmm. I want to intercourse with this person. Mm -hmm. When you go with it with an authentic reason, just getting to know someone, mm -hmm. it's beautiful, and that's what we had. Like, it's really. Do you cool. think that's what we had? Like genuinely, you you think that's what we were, what was going on? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. For, uh, yeah, I think it. You. Uh, mm, okay. Okay. When Harry Met Sally, <laughs> when Harry Met Sally is one of my favorite movies. You know this. When, when Harry Met Sally, I think we talked about this. Actually. You talked about this. I talked about this a lot, actually. <laughs> I don't know think. Because this is not a thing to talk about with. Oh, anyways. Okay, When Harry Met Sally is a legit good movie. Mm -hmm. For multiple reasons. But one of the things was, like, you had these two friends, a guy and a girl, and they had this huge thing about, you know, men and women can't be friends and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. To a certain extent, that's true. <laughs> that's true in a lot of ways. Men and women can be friends. So I think, yeah, there's always a what if or a scenario mm -hmm. or whatever. But... The pool of us, in my mind, like, what mm -hmm. drew was more towards friendship. Like, I think we both needed something. Yes. Uh -huh. And we both needed a connection. Mm -hmm. 
So, because we were both looking for a connection, mm-hmm. probably we both were looking for a connection in the opposite sex, yeah. we became each other's surrogate, whatever. It's, we became each other's surrogates. And I can be like, oh, Corey's handsome. You can be like, oh, Valerie's cute. But it wasn't like a physical, like, Corey's handsome or Valerie's cute. It was like, it was almost like we just needed a physical connection of some sort. Yeah. But we didn't want the physical part between yeah. the two of us. So it's just like. That's scary. I don't know. It would have been like yeah, too much. It would have been a lot. Mm-hmm. It would have been so much. But that's why I think because of the placement of where we were mm-hmm. mentally and what we both needed, it allowed us to actually grow as friends. Yeah, for sure.